Quelle heure, quelle heure au vestiaire hein Quelle heure au vestiaire Non mais dis-moi. Ah, maximum. Mais... Donc, je ne vois rien. C'est dur ou c'est mes yeux C'est chaud vos lumières hein Non, c'est les lumières. Bonjour Didier, ça va la lumière euh, moyennement. Moyen, je suis là. 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 Have you thought about the impact that this will have? Yeah. Obviously, for all of the different Spanish teams, they've always had the ability to have a very a good midfield. They work as a three up until Pedri obviously was there before, and they have that ability to help the Spanish team keep a hold and control of the game. It also makes them dangerous up front, but we know that the midfield is as strong as well. With Rodri especially, who is a player that is essential to the Spanish team? But actually it's everyone in the Spanish team. Everything that they've been doing on the pitch since the beginning of this composition. C'est pas pour leur mettre du stress ou de la pression. I'm not trying to put stress or pressure on them, but they're the team that has had the best Euros for the moment. They're the ones who are leaving the best impressions after every game. Didier Samuel from M6. Since the beginning of the competition, you have had a goalkeeper who is very strong, Mike. What are the qualities that you like with this goal? So when I say Mike Magnon, when you say this, what, do you, what comes to mind? You don't need me to tell you why he's a great high-level goalkeeper. He's got a great presence on the um, pitch, on the deck, in the air, wherever the ball's coming from, he's a great leader for our team and he leads the pack. But I, maybe now he's being showcased a little bit more than before, but it's not talent that suddenly cropped up overnight. He had injury issues before, which maybe prevented him from this continuity. Benjamin for Le Parisien during the Magas game, Kylian Mbappé said that he was tired and he wanted to come off during the extra time. Have you spoken to him? Has he reassured you? And what have you been able to do in the very short space of four days to get him back on track? So it's 100% for tomorrow. He had played 110 minutes of football, so we know that extra time was a little bit hard for him. So I don't think it's Kylian and physically and uh, from a muscular point of view, he even if he's seeing slightly off, he will still be on that pitch. But we wanted to let him rest up as much as he needed to. Same for all of the players. Four days is quite short. If we would have had one day extra, it would have been better. But obviously, every team saying is singing from that same song sheet. We did everything that we could, and I am convinced that Kylian is in the right headspace as are all of my players. They are in it, but it's not linked to the last game. It's everything else that has changed the end of his season, where he wasn't used to uh, during prep. As I mentioned, he had an issue with his back, and now he is taken a blow to the nose, and he knows it. It could have been the end of the road for him, but he's still participating. He's still here. We, he needs to digest this. He needs to get used to the new playing conditions as well. But I am convinced that tomorrow, Kylian, just as the rest of the group, will do everything they can to give it 110%. Hi, Didier from Le Keep over here. Tomorrow, you are going to find out, come against, up against Mike Laporte, who once played for France, and now he is slipping on that uh, Spanish 
jersey. At his level now, would you see him back in France? I don't know. I'm happy for him. He's probably happy with his choice, and that's the most important. There's someone else who could have also been happy, but... This, no, I don't have. I don't have any regrets with regards to Emmerich Laporte. Emmerich, or the, the, the fact that he is enjoying his time in Spain, and I think it's a kiss. Hello, Didier. I'll ask in English. Yeah. Thank you. Merci. <laughs> Carry around being sports. You say that Mbappe is trying to get the right headspace. J'ai rien compris. On m'a traduit en anglais alors. Non, non. <laughs> Vous parlez anglais, on me traduit en anglais donc. You, I'm only hearing the English in my ear. Could you repeat your question, please? Yeah. 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 Okay. In English. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you said that Mbappe is trying to get the right headspace after the injury to his nose and wearing the mask. What are you doing to help him adapt to that and the fact he nearly left the tournament? And philosophically, some people are saying ahead of this tournament, ahead of this match, that he maybe shouldn't start. What's your philosophical reply to that? Kylian, so yes, he's in a new situation for him, the fact that he's having to wear the mask, which means, as I've said before, he has vision or field of vision that is modified. Un gros choc. This was a huge shock to him, and as I mentioned before, it's, it was a, something that he had to get used to with the bruise as well. That, that's the, the bruise is gone, so that's the swelling has gone down as well, but with each day, his nose is getting stronger and stronger. He's going to have to get used to this now for a couple of weeks, I would think, and maybe even months uh, with the mask wearing. Bonsoir, Didier. Oui. Charlotte Harper from The Athletic. Il y aura quelqu'un d'autre um, au stade qui va regarder le match. There's someone else at the stadium tomorrow, Lucas Hernandez. Uh, have you got a message for him after his injury? Thank you. Yes, I heard that Lucas will be there probably tomorrow. I know that he's wholeheartedly with us. I have spoken to him a few times now. And I know... Déjà d'une grave blessure, il en a une autre. Even though he was just coming out of one injury and then he went into another, but I know that he'll do everything. He's a fighter and he's going to do everything to come back at his best level possible. And it, he's someone who is very joyful, he shares this joy, and therefore I'm delighted. I will be delighted to see him tomorrow and if he's there with us. Bonsoir Didier, Baptiste Desprez, Le Figaro. Hi Didier, Baptiste from Le Figaro over here. The French team hasn't been scoring goals and we heard yesterday that um, there's not a good enough presence in the box. We know that Olivier Giroud has been warming the bench. Why hasn't he come onto the pitch? He came on three times. Après, j'ai des choix... Oh, you mean he doesn't start? Okay, I have choices to make, and with Olivier, it's about, yeah, he can be quite, he, he didn't start the three games, but he came on, he wasn't more efficient than others, but everything depends on the situations, the games, the opponents, but obviously the fact that, uh, that we need more bodies in the box. Yeah, I wouldn't be against that, but it's not by putting everyone in the box that we're going to be more cutting edge in front of the goal. We, we've got chances. We could have more chances, obviously, but it's not because of a lack of ch chances. It's because we're not maybe concretizing on those goal-scoring opportunities. But with a game like tomorrow, this is something that's going to be important. Just very quickly, two questions. We'll start here. Sweden. Um, there's a lot of talk about France with all these quality players playing quite boring. What do you think about this uh, thing as boring compared to 
people wanting more exciting football. Vous êtes suédois, vous êtes sûr Non, vous êtes déguisé. You're Swedish No, no, no. No, you live in France. You're French press disguised as disguised as Swedish press. So if you're getting bored, you know what? Watch another game, that's fine. You don't have to watch, it's fine. C'est un championnat d'Europe... It's a European championship. It's very difficult for everyone up until now. There have been... But maybe we're not, it's not the same as in the past, but we do have the capability to share emotions, to make lots of French men and women happy through the results that we've been putting out the bag especially in a period that has been quite difficult for our country. But I'm sorry if the Swedish are getting bored of our football. It doesn't really bother me that much. Last question. Good evening over here. When we've got Yaman and Williams who were the wingers that were coming up against, are you thinking about how do we need to defend against them or are we thinking they don't defend and let's use that? Probably both of them. If they've got the ball, we need to be able to defend against them and defend like we have done up until now. But we can also need to push them to be in a zone that they don't like and they're going to have to work down the back as well. That could maybe also help us limit their attacking capabilities. But these are game situations and both could happen. Do we have the ball? Do we not have the ball? Are we going to give them the ball but not in the right conditions? But these two players, Yamal and Williams, obviously it's been, they don't have the same quality but it's what makes the Spanish team it gives them that extra because they've got verticality with these two players they're able to play up and down the pitch a lot more than box to box football and a lot more than other teams thank you very much Didier well we've got the training session at 6pm open to media for the first 50 minutes here for the first time you just go out and then to the left and you're almost already there at the pitch side French training will start at six at uh, six o'clock. Uh, Fifteen minutes are open to the media.